coming up. So we got General Grappler tire. That's ah, shoot. Okay. So, so we went up halfway. Now here's what happened. I had my foot all the way down. I was ready to accelerate hard and the traction control killed it. All right, folks, Nathan Adlin here high up in the Rockies with my buddy. Andre Smirnoff. And we are here with the brand new 2016 Nissan Titan XD. And this baby is the Pro 4X built for off-roading. And what are we gonna do with it? We're gonna try to take it up Goldmine Hill. We're gonna go up the snowy and icy path and see how the truck does, right? I think we'll just do a little bit of thrashing in the snow too because nobody's taking this thing in the snow yet. We need to do that. No. That's what we do. How about we switch to low? Okay, neutral for low. We also have the button on the left there for uh, Lock rear locker. I think, I, I, yeah, I'll give the rear locker a try. Yeah, how uh, about that? We, we're not to our turn yet. Normally we go up, right? Yeah. What we normally do, we go up, we stop and make a turn. Uh, traction control really killed us. What we need to do is go down. How about start this is there a traction again. control button? No, no, no. It's it's off now. Uh, wheels are just spinning. Okay. But see, because the traction control killed us okay. up here, it completely killed our momentum going up to that point. So we need to back down. Look at this. Gas struts for the hood. That's really nice. Of course, we have the 5 liter V8 Cummins here. It's really great to see this powerful engine in the wild. 310 horsepower, 555 pound-feet of torque. It's backed up by a six-speed ASIN transmission. It's got a 4x4 system. This is the Pro 4X version of the truck. And got rear locker and also four low. We got built-in shocks. I mean, we have the equipment, right? Oh, absolutely. We got the suspension, we got the engine, we got the general grappler, which I actually don't have a lot of experience with. I have very little experience with these tires too, to be honest. Okay. I'm worried about that tree. Yeah, stop. Back up. Uh, I really don't feel comfortable. Let me let me do it my okay. way, okay? Okay. We're within a couple of inches of the tree. On ice, we've got 7,300 pounds of curb and the two of us. Once again, we're within a few inches of this tree. Yep, that's my biggest issue. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this with this truck. It's just so big and there's so much sliding towards that Yeah, direction. I mean, we can use more throttle, but I'm, you know, personally, I don't feel comfortable because of the uh, spacing here. This sticker says 58,285. Wow, that's a lot of money. But then again, you do get a lot of truck for the money. You just have so much weight to move. It doesn't want to go up there, does it? And the traction control's not killing you right now, is it? No, nope, it's, it's traction control's off. Okay. It's letting me throw the snow. Earlier when it stopped, it was uh, the traction control that made me stop because I had my foot all the way down. Okay. The engine completely died out. Okay. And so, and the, yeah, the wheel stopped turning. All right, let's, let's see. It's like digging in right there. Yeah. Guys, take a look at this. That is solid ice and it is everywhere. It's between two to four inches underneath where we've been and where we're going. And this has been a real problem going up this hill. It's unfair to the truck because it is so heavy that once we've gotten up to a certain point, it started sliding towards a tree. And every single time we tried it, it kept doing the same thing. It is a very heavy vehicle and we don't want to bounce it off a tree. So to preserve the vehicle, we're going to stop trying to go up this hill. Here's the good news. We have another place to go and we're going to take this baby into some deep snow and do some real good snow bashing. At the end of the day, you have to ask yourself, what works best in the truck? 
And in my mind, being able to bash through snow is one of the best things. It's so different with this engine and this, this hefty platform. Completely different vehicle. Completely different. I'm not complaining, believe me. <laughs> Look, I love that other vehicle, man. I love the old Titan. Why? Something about its size, its shape, I don't know. It just felt like a good truck. It didn't have this torque. It didn't have this size or this presence. This thing, this is a tank compared to the old Titan. Kind of wish I could mix the two up, you know what I mean? First of all, tires. Tires, I think the tires are there. The grabber, I mean, it cleans fairly yep. well and it goes up, went up this hill up to when it hit ice, yeah. which was all over up the hill. And, and frankly, unless you've got chains, you're not going to be able to even go anywhere near this ice. No. So that's that, decent tires. Uh, suspension, I thought suspension. was good. Yeah. Good. Built-in shocks are working. Uh, good articulation. Power delivery? Power delivery is there. I mean, the Cummins diesel. It actually sounded almost like a gasoline V8. <laughs> yeah, didn't? I did. Once we got to the higher RPM, it was just like, oh, it's like a V8. Yeah. Yeah, so I love that sound. Really great. 4x4 uh, four four system. I felt that the 4 high system had what was far too intrusive and it actually cut power when I needed it most. The traction control was still there. Absolutely right? just dropped everything out and okay. stopped the engine, stopped what I wanted to do. But once I put it into 4 low, locked up the rear end, no problems. Um, and ground clearance? A really good. departure, I yeah, mean, no problems. No problems with that. We really enjoyed taking this baby off road in the snow. Absolutely. For the fast lane truck. This is Andres Mirnoff. Nathan Adlin, thank you so much for joining us. Now, speaking of numbers, right now we've been averaging, we're doing really good on speed. And right now our gas mileage is averaging 3.9 miles per gallon. This is one of the few vehicles that has manual controls that allow you to do what? Lower the headlights so you can kind of <laughs> level you out with the trailer if you're kind of squatting too much. Right. This is a special engine. It's a V8 that is built specifically for this rig. More importantly, it puts out 310 horsepower and 555 pound-feet of torque. 